Hi guys! Today I want to record a spontaneous vlog which was inspired by a gift that I have received from one of my friends. This lovely Jesus statue. And he has given that to me because I have been suffering quite a lot lately. Um, to a large extent due to COVID and the long-term effects that has on my life and my profession. As most of you know, I'm a yoga instructor and because of the ways we have dealt with COVID here in New Zealand, which is quite extreme, my job has been constantly under threat because people don't come into town anymore to practice yoga. They generally don't really come into town anymore. And this has been very difficult for a lot of other jobs too, like in the um, retail industry, anything food related, all of these um, jobs has, have been under threat as well. And a lot of people have lost their jobs and um, have lost their future and the things they worked for all their life. And this can be really, really difficult. And most of all, I have just kind of questions. Why would God want this to happen? Because all I do in my job is share love and light. If you have watched some of my videos, you can see very clearly that the most important part of yoga to me is the spiritual side of it. So the journey towards enlightenment, towards self-realization. And it's that that I really want to share with people. I want to help them to find more <clears throat> peace and more happiness in their lives. And why would God want to take this away? Whereas so many other jobs that have a lot to do with corruption, with perpetuating capitalism, exploitation, lying, stealing, these are the kind of jobs that are safe and that remain that are protected by the government and by most people. And um, this sometimes make me, makes me really sad because I wonder why would God want this to happen? And so my friend gave me this beautiful statue and when I received it, my gaze was immediately drawn to this beautiful sacred heart at the center of his chest. I was just drawn right into that and um, it just felt like a moment of coming home, you know? It just felt like this is the home of my heart. And so looking at this heart and seeing the very epitome of that, it just felt so warm and kind and loving and spacious. And I was reminded of this incredible love of Jesus. And from a, when I was a child, I was really attracted to that. I felt so safe and at home when I was in the church, when I was praying, when I was listening to stories about Jesus. I felt this is my home and this is where I always want to be and I never want to leave that. And looking at this heart, I was reminded of that love of Jesus. He accepts everyone in the exact same way. He forgives everyone, no matter what you have done in your life. If you ask for forgiveness, he would never turn you away. Who feels love in this way? Who even aspires to love in this way? So looking at the sacred heart and being reminded of this incredible love of Jesus and that even if you can't make sense of something in your head, it still is all carried by his love that will never end and that will never fail. And the invitation really is to trust this, even if you can't make sense of it in your mind, to trust it. I was reminded of the power of prayer. In fact, my friend reminded me of that. And sometimes you might think, well, I did pray in the past and it didn't really help. Um, I think it has more to do with maybe I prayed, but I prayed with a preconception about what that prayer would lead to. And the secret is to really drop all of that ego and to pray without any quest, a request 
attached to that. To pray that God just takes over my whole life, my whole heart and everything, in whatever way that will be. And this really, this, this really means love for God. And um, yes, to re be reminded of all that, to go back to that very essence of what prayer really is and what love for God really is. This just no matter what. This prayer for nothing but just for God being in my heart. Filling up my life and my soul, everything. <laughs> Which already is reality, of course. Everything is God already. But if ego gets in the way, this is sometimes hard to perceive. And yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I hope that it might give you a little bit of peace too. And that perhaps you, it inspires you also maybe to say a little prayer tonight before you go to bed or wherever you are and whatever you do. And I wish you a peaceful rest of the day. All my love to you. Bye!